things that we collected over the week, and we were way on vacation. Oh, Lisa G's here with headlines. Here's Lisa G with the headlines, and I'll play a couple of these things we've collected. They're pretty funny. Well, in my opinion, anyway. Ah, hey, Lisa, looking good. Hi. What's the story? What'd you do, something hey, different with you your recover? hair? I have beach hair. Yeah, look at you. I was out at the beach. Uh, Lisa G, what do <laughs> yes. you got for us? Well, while you were on vacation, Ronnie the limo driver had his infamous block party. I have tape. I'll be playing that. Okay. Uh-huh. Howard mm-hmm. 100 News was there and had full coverage of the night's events. From Ronnie asking Aaron, the intern's girlfriend, when her top would come off to a drunken JD getting his groove on with a scores waitress. Not to mention the endless karaoke by Ronnie, including Sweet Caroline, Living on a Prayer, Moni Moni, and of course, the Hopi Kopi. Scott, the engineer, even joined in the fun singing his rendition of Hands Up from Club Med, the theme song. You know what I was thinking about this block party that Ronnie has? Uh-huh. It's like, first of all, from the, from what I can hear, like the, it, it's supposed to be the whole block gets together outside yeah. and they all chip in and they have a party. And my mind right away goes to like this party has become like Ronnie's. It's almost like a scores party. He invites any hot chick he can get his hands on. And then oh, like, this is in a neighborhood he's is, doing this? Yeah, this is right out in the neighborhood. And it's like, <laughs> I go, what is? what about the guy who worked all week and just wants to go to bed oh, uh, during the weekend and chill? Uh-oh. Or these housewives who, who don't, they don't yeah. need these nubile women parading through their neighborhood. Yeah, so Ronnie, and then like half the party, the tapes I've heard anyway, are like, you know, Ronnie and the DJ trying to get girls' tops off and, and commenting on the women. There? And there's kids and there's cursing and you know because they all get drunk and it's about as uncouth as you could get i think yeah oh, hey wait wait i'll goodness. play you some of it here i got a whole ronnie's page it's like they should be arrested <laughs> it just seems like a kind of party that should probably be going on at night in a, in somebody's house well that's what i'm saying i mean if you're gonna do that in the middle of the block you should be arrested you know ronnie's like so just on Kuth, it's like, you know, he goes, oh, we all love it. We love it. But like, He doesn't care. He's no. so drunk. He doesn't know what people love. He thinks people love it. Because <laughs> he's loving it. Yeah. Let's see. Here's Ronnie. Oh, this is the wrong page. I knew it. Ronnie's songs and bits. It's Ronnie's block party. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> so Ronnie, the big celebrity at the party was Ronnie hired one of the DJs that works here at Sirius. He was like a club DJ uh-huh. or something. Louis D. Louis DeVito. Louis DeVito. Right. He okay. he did the Sweet Caroline remix that he loved. Yeah, so Ronnie hired him. Oh. So he showed up and spun a few tunes. So here's Ronnie and Louis DeVito. Louis DeVito's here. This is now a party. And that's high pitch Mike is there. <laughs> this is now a party. <laughs> Man. Anytime he gets out of the house, it's a party, high pitch Mike. <laughs> Louis DeVito's here. This is now a party. <laughs> like my, the DJ guy is like creaming in his pants that you're coming. Yeah. Oh, he's like unbelievable, like unbelievably excited that you're coming to like spin a record with him. Cool. You know what I'm saying? I actually brought uh, I brought a handful of CDs. So uh, if any of the girls want to get naked, we might give some away. All right. See, now the DJ is going to try and get the girls to be naked and... Yeah, this is like, there's like little kids. It's, it's the right, neighborhood. this is not hedonism. <laughs> yeah. This is Ronnie's block. It's Queens. <laughs> Any opportunity for Ronnie to be the Ronnie character, the scores man? Yeah. yeah. So Louis DeVito, not to sound unhip, I guess he's like a big sort of like, like what Jelly Bean Benitez was or something, like a big DJ? I don't DJ? know. I don't know. Really? Well, you'll ha- I'll let you handle all of that, okay? Uh, this, that's I, why I brought him I, here. I'm being, very, I'm being very low key today. He'll get on the mic and he'll make sure we get some panties out of the deal. Get some some some, some CDs. So why don't you go get something to drink and some meat, and I'll go tell him that you're here, and then we'll do it. All right, cool. All cool. right. You're classless. Why am I getting blamed for this? I didn't tell the guy yeah, to do dude, that. You could say no. You're like, oh, I have nothing to do with this. I didn't. It's like what? It's a big oh, orgy. You know what, it's a Roman man. orgy, man. Give me a break. It wasn't a Where Roman. It wasn't a Roman. To yeah, there was plenty of kids there, but they were What's busy the... with clowns and magicians and all that other stuff. And you guys are. I didn't tell them to do that. Here's. Uh... I was actually pretty quiet. Here's Ronnie. Are you singing? Oh come on, man! Sweet Caroline. So we had a good time. Is that bother you? Is sweet why Ca- does that bother you? Is Sweet Caroline? The I want to know why that bothers you. It... Is Sweet Caroline the yes. song that you like? Yeah, yeah. that's he, Louis DeVito. He mixes that. He does mixing. Yeah, Ronnie was like sucking, sucking major dick. He was all excited no, that he had Louis DeVito there. Sucking major dick. The yeah, guy, we got a big celebrity. The guy called Louis me. DeVito. 
Yeah. I didn't tell him to come. He called me. Lisa did a story with him, and he All called right. me. He said okay. he wanted to come and do a guest appearance. We had a good DJ here. Satellite Radio, we have a very special guest here tonight. He's a DJ who mixes all kinds of disco stuff and mixes a very special song that everybody's been talking about, Sweet Caroline. Mr. Louis DeVito! <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> Ronnie gave a talk up. Ronnie gets up on stage and he's doing like announcements. And Can't you just be like mellow and chill? I mean, why do you have to be up on stage? Dude, I wasn't on stage. You're it was the a, host it was of a the block party. It was Louis a... DeVito. This is 4 p.m. in the afternoon. He had a sweet no, voice there, on there too. There were a lot guy. of people. There were. It was packed. Yeah, and Ronnie's up there. What did I do? It's like what Ronnie's did I coming do? out. We had parties. fun. Why didn't we let your other neighbors do the announcements? You sit down. We had fun. What nope. was the? Okay, this guy hates when I have fun. I don't get it. Scott did hands up. I yeah, heard, yeah he did. A, a he did a guest appearance. <laughs> Ronnie did the hopey popey, but now it's like a whole thing. So he now he can't say it right. Yeah, just Ronnie begging girls to dance, and you know. I wasn't begging anybody to dance. What are you talking about, dude? Give me a <laughs> break. There's the old ladies. Shh. Let's get some girls. Hey, you hear that music in the background? Uh -huh. That's my worst nightmare. That music. When, I, like, if I go to a hotel or something, you hear that. It, like oh. through the wall, you hear thump, thump, right, thump. Right, right. That, that's that, all that, night. Thump, 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 thump. You're trying to sleep. We had we had Aaron, who's Scott's uh, intern. He DJed the whole thing. Right. He was really good. He, he, if you're not on ecstasy, had a good time. you're not enjoying that music. <laughs> Everyone had a good time except for the guy trying to take a nap. Yeah. Hey, can I ask you a question? Because the big talk in the office is that Ronnie asked Aaron's girlfriend to show it to Oh, we were joking around. To God, what? she was to wearing what? this low cut top. And we right, just they joked say around. that Ronnie yelled out on the microphone for her to show her tits. Yeah. Yeah. No, I did not right. s yell out, kids. show her tits. This I is what did. they're telling me, Ronnie. Yeah, okay, Gary. You weren't there. Okay, I'm just I'm repeating what people are afraid yeah, to say. Yeah, people are Scores afraid to man. say. Yeah, I noticed nobody comes in and say what a great time they had when they let's all they listen, kept saying. Let's yeah, listen okay. to the tape. Such bullshit here. Come on. What is this? Come on, I, I see this drunken girl, man. Get her up here. Come on. Let's get some girls. This is a tape where Ronnie harasses the girls into dancing. I wasn't harassing yeah, the girls. You're here to dance okay. for me. Chop, chop. Imagine, like, Ronnie's wives, they're all the wives. I don't and hear Ronnie, him calling her name. No, Ronnie's no. carrying on. Come on, girls. <laughs> Come on. Let's get up here. It must be a delightful day for, for her. Yes. <laughs> if you want, the, uh, the TV show has video oh. of Ronnie singing Sweet oh. Caroline with the oh. interns. Let me see. Oh, there he is. Oh, all worked up. Yeah, all worked up. Look at With the it. girls. Yeah. <laughs> That's Louis DeVito clapping his hands there. Thank you for pointing out the famous guy. Yeah. They're wearing the same glasses. Look at you. <laughs> You're fucking nut. <laughs> I wasn't even drunk, man. I was actually mellow. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, someone's in love. Yeah, right. Look at those tattoos. You look like a burn victim on your arm. <laughs> oh, what are you talking about, dude? <laughs> What is wrong with you? Do you want to see... Uh, it's like someone lit your arm on fire. <laughs> what? I know it's more visual than anything, but do you want to see Scott the Engineer do hands Yo, up? No, please. Yeah, let me see Oh, that. you got to see that. It's the best. They brought him out of retirement. <laughs> <laughs> Scott the Engineer... You know, you'd think after all these years she'd forget, but that's like riding a bicycle. You don't forget the hand signals for hands up. <laughs> Scott looks sick lately to me. Like he's not. Yeah, doesn't he? He's not moving correctly. Like he's like. He's got a hernia. Oh yeah. Yeah. That That'll what do it. Is? Yeah, he's messed up. Oh, all right. Hernia. His balls are hanging. <laughs> What's he lifting? Himself. The black cloud. <laughs> the black cloud. From all the years of carrying the black cloud. <laughs> so I heard. I heard Lisa caught a bunch of shit for bringing uh, Miss Black Howard Stern with her. Yeah. I think, what was that all about? I don't know. What happened? There was there? nothing wrong with her. She, she was a nice girl. She had a great time. I, DJ Ronnie, <laughs> DJ Louie and Ronnie getting Jenna to dance. Jenna, it's your birthday. Get Jenna. Come on. Get naked. Let's go. We go. I want to see you. I come here. This is where Ronnie tells Jenna she has a beautiful face. <laughs> oh, gee.
She's one of our interns, Howard. Yes. One of our interns. Yes, she's one of our interns. You like her face? She, yes, she, I do. You, you approve of her face? Yes, I do. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Any other interns I can bring to you so that you can approve of them at the party? No, but any I made sure... Anything, I, any other but, social wait, life I can provide? But I made sure the girls that were underage didn't drink. Good. Come on, Ronnie. Get Jenna Rilek off here, Jenna. We have a CD for you. Don't be shy. Come on. So I guess if Jenna comes out of her shell, she get a CD. <clears throat> she gets a Louis <laughs> Louis Devito CD. Louis Devito CD. You yeah. better be careful because if Jenna comes out of her shell, you might end up in a cell with <laughs> Joe Francis. <laughs> yeah. If you're interested, three of the female interns that were uh, at the party are here. If you want to interview them about it, they would just tell me about um, the tour of Ronnie's NASCAR room. Oh, they got the. You brought the, the girls. You no, brought I the, didn't. You brought the girls. No, they the went. Uh, no, we were using the bathroom downstairs, and that's where it is. Is that a spe is that special treatment for them because they didn't want to use porta potty or something? No, everybody was using the bathroom downstairs, oh, they were. and they got to see the NASCAR room. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it. You saw it too. Yeah. What was that like for you? It's like a separate apartment down there. Yeah, and I he's got what, like a big tire, two tires. Yeah, when you walk in and. Life-size cutouts and everything NASCAR. You think you were in a showroom? <laughs> Do you sometimes yeah. feel like you're? No, like it's a, not a showroom. <laughs> Do you sometimes feel like you're in a ten-year-old boy's room? <laughs> yeah. Worse, worse. Yeah. You're in, yeah, the, okay. in the body shop. Right in the body shop. Even though you know it's a grown man, do you ever think he has the mentality of a four-year-old? A little bit. But he does have a lot of stuff down there. What do you get a big cutout? What do we not do a lot of stuff down there? What does that mean? Have a lot of stuff down there. All right. It's packed. There's not a blank space of wall that's not NASCAR. And big posters of different uh, posters, drivers. Posters, banners, big tire when you walk down the steps. No. Yeah. And why did you, you bring Miss Black Howard Stern? Your friends or something? Yes. You are? I knew her before she won the title, and also Ronnie said that she could come. Mm -hmm. So how did it become a problem? Yeah, well, who cared about that? Somebody, Some people bitched about it, supposedly. That's what Lisa told me. So you were yeah, probably your wife. No. So it's probably... <laughs> Absolutely not. No. They felt that she was a whack packer and she shouldn't right. be there. Oh. I'm like Jackie. I have whack packers now. Oh. She's way too hot to be a whack packer. Maybe your neighborhood doesn't like black people. Yeah, Nobody said boo, man. Right. right. Sounds cared. like she's a Nobody black said packer. Boo. Nobody said boo. <laughs> she was there all day. <laughs> boo? Boo. <laughs> they should have said boo? Come on, Ganji. Pile in. <laughs> Actually, I'm not coming to pile in on you. You know who's a weird dude? JD. What because Miss Howard Stern was, Get there, out you know, of here. And listen, she's a little, she's a little odd and out there, but she was trying to be Cute. friendly with him, yeah. and and he wanted no part of it. JD, what's your problem, man? Why are you being mean to Charlie? You didn't know who I was until all of a sudden there's a camera in front of you. <laughs> see, he's a big star. He's this so guy's got an ego. You see this ego? You see that ego? So JD's got a chip on his shoulder, man. He treated her like shit. Yeah. Told you shit. yelling at her and if being been, angry at her. If you've been punched in the face 900 times, you're probably suspicious. This Black Howard Stern is like one of the fakest people I've ever seen in my life. I want nothing to do with her. So. Why? Because she's so fake. I don't like fake people, and I see nothing genuine. Dude, it was a party. It wasn't a, 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 a fucking funeral, man. What, do, what's your problem? You so, well, that's why I didn't hang around her, Ronnie. Yeah, but you didn't have to be mean to her. I wasn't yeah, mean was, to her. No, I, just, I, I, got, I got the picture. She was, try, she was like being like all sexy with you, and you, you knew it wasn't genuine. It, well, no. It was, plus, there was like cameras around. Like She yeah. comes up to me when there's a camera around. I'm like, well, whatever. Just oh, get away. Oh, poor Jay. That, that's uh, you, uh, Who? You, Doug? Dude, it was a freaking nice. party. You're a sick idiot. You know that? <laughs> no, I'm a sick idiot. Yeah, really. <laughs> the guys are saying maybe you could have Parlay that into like a little thing with her. I I want nothing to do with Miss Black Howard Stern. I well, you don't like black people now. Listen, but it doesn't matter. You have hot chicks sitting on your lap. Uh, Who cares? Parlays into something there? else. Can the you, other chicks think you have something. Get out of here. On. Leave me alone, dude. Just let let me hate Howard Stern, Miss Black Howard Stern, and live uh. my life. <laughs> Jesus. Let me hate Howard Stern. Now you hate Howard Stern, too, huh? No, 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 no. I love Howard. Miss Black Howard Stern. I yeah, know. Okay. Hey, let me hear you. This is uh, Ronnie's block party. Dara. No, not Dara the intern. Let me see. I oh, forget. I'm what a recipe for disaster. I don't know. He right, hates the... Miss Black Howard Stern. Let me hear the rest of this. Go, Tana. It's your birthday. Go, Tana. Come on. Get naked. Let's go. Get naked. Get That's naked. not me, pal. Yeah, but you got to stop it or something. I don't understand. What A guy like Louis DeVito, he puts out an album of him, of songs he takes. He's got about 10 albums, dude. He no, he mixes. Songs. No, he mixes shit. Oh, he mixes. Yeah. Can I ask you something? Why is he yelling into the microphone? Get naked. Yeah, I don't know. Kids there. Well, we stopped him after a while, you know. 
people got upset. Maybe, maybe you know. after realize. the kids started getting naked, yeah. <laughs> yeah. there were three seven-year-olds that were naked. Yeah, the kids in the bouncy house were getting naked. <laughs> but uh, I want to know if you were in a thong or a flesh you up to beneath that skirt because you are big and sexy. Boy, it sure does sound like Good scores. Lord. Dude, it wasn't me. I, yeah, but, I, but I knew I would take the hit for it, so what, well, the, what the F? Well, where man? do you think this all Your comes house. from? The, you, no, you it's, it's the there. street, Artie. It's oh, a, it is? Oh, we're okay. not in my house. Yeah, but you brought the guy. He could get, he, honestly, I, you, he might get you in trouble. That is true. Well, he already did, obviously. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Who's got the cocaine? <laughs> Which one of you kids has got coke? <laughs> Who's got the cocaine? Yeah. Oh, I need you to describe what that was like, having Ronnie uh, pull you literally against your will to go up there. It was very embarrassing, but it's all on fun. So. But you did. Oh, is that where Ronnie pulls the girls up on stage well, against he, their will? I didn't pull anybody up on stage. There was no stage, first of all. <laughs> it was a street. You're on your own accord. I did it all on my own, yep. Great time. Woo! Wow. <laughs> Sounds great. Sorry I wasn't there. Yeah, I'm sorry you missed it. I was having fun. Right, Lisa? Was I having fun? Oh, I'm sure you were. I wasn't drunk. What's that, Gary? It's a NASCAR room. <laughs> Who the hell took pictures of my house? I guess Jason Oh, did. my God. Dude, what is this wall? Look yeah. at this fucking room. <laughs> you got to see the... Uh, He's got, like, toy trucks. They're not toy trucks. They're not toys. Oh, my is goodness. It? There's, there's two different pictures there, Howard. They're that not the same like picture. It's a toy shop. It's collectibles. But you got to see the life-size cutout of Pam right. Anderson. Collectibles. Oh, wow. Look at this big life-size cutout of Pam Anderson. Oh, no. That's in your house? <laughs> no, it's downstairs. That's your house, dude. Dude. Look at this wall, Robin. This is he all... is a teenager. He has yeah, okay. toy cars on his... All right. Oh. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> it's like a toy store now. Yeah, okay. Wow. So what is that, like a display shelf? Yes. Where'd you get that? Like, I bought you build... it. And you I... built it? No, I bought it. It's plexiglass. Wow, genuine plexiglass. Yes, genuine. That's with nice. sliding doors. And then you got a big Wheaties and box. Then, and you go look, look at your... Oh, no, that's not a box, dude. That's a, um, that's a hood. A flag? Or a Wheaties oh, hood? A hood? That's a hood. A yeah, it's like a replica. Like a half-scale <laughs> replica. So it's not even real? No, it's not real. <laughs> oh, he's laughing. Look at this. Here's a big, giant car. Like... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> How big is that thing? Oh my goodness! That's, that's some room. Look at there. It's the plexiglass. It's the other half of it. Uh, <laughs> you've, you've you know, Jason. A lot of money. Out Jason out comes to my house and takes pictures of everything. What's this big Huckleberry Hound? What kind thing? of shit is that? That's a hood. Also another hood. Another Huckleberry Hound hood. Uh, yeah. How many hoods can you have? Huckleberry Hound hood. <laughs> <laughs> Class. Yeah. Somebody, by the way, somebody, you know, I left the downstairs open so people could use the bathroom. So somebody did coke in my bathroom. Of course. Wow. Well, look what you got going on. You got scores, scores, uh, scores Long Island going on. What do you mean scores of Long Island? What are you talking about? Of course people. They, I, find a, them, I find the mirror in my bathroom. There's a mirror. I had this yeah. little mirror there. It's like a club atmosphere. And it's all full, it's full, all full of white powder. Of course on. it is. Dude, look what's going to get girls thongs, getting up on stage and playing sexy There's music. There's no stage. <laughs> what crazy. are you talking about? Stage. Well, why, why would it surprise you? People doing coke. The hell's going? No, dude. You leave was... a bathroom open at a party. Someone's going to do coke. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> but what the hell's wrong with Jason? What? Why is Jason coming to my house and taking pictures like that without asking? Because it's me? funny. That's bullshit. Well, don't have wouldn't a party. You be pissed off? Wouldn't you be pissed off if somebody did that? Yes. <laughs> so he's not having a block party. That's why I'm not having a block right. party. Yeah, he comes in, he, he, he greases your ass and telling you what a great time he's having. Meanwhile, he's down there playing FBI he was. agent. He, he was having time. a great time. Fuck you, Jason, awesome you party, piece of dude. shit. Awesome party. I didn't take those pictures. Who did? The interns. Everybody was taking pictures. Everyone yeah, sent me their pictures okay. afterwards. Yeah, right. They yeah. were having a lot. It was great. At, towards the end of the party, everyone was just having fun hanging out in Ronnie's uh, NASCAR room. It was like a college dorm room, you know? It was, <laughs> yeah. It was cool. Come on, girls. Everyone down in the uh, I didn't bring them. Dude. We're why, trying to open why up. Am I, why am I being blamed for all this Looking shit? at the hoods, doing blow. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a whole party going on down there. If it wasn't so hot, I would have worn my Tony Stewart jacket. It I would have wore. I would have wore it, man. You, I, where do you go to school? <laughs> I would have wore it. I don't it. go to school anymore. <laughs> you you got to go back. <laughs> I would have wore it. Ronnie's got a hot neighbor. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, Loretta? Yeah, Loretta. You like Loretta, huh? She just had a kid, man. Oh, wow. She looked good. Yeah. 
Well, there you go. Okay, Ron, another successful year. Yeah, it was a great party. party. All right. The second annual. Second annual. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's like the fifth annual. <laughs> well, this is the first time I've known about it. It sounds like it just became a Louis DeVito like infomercial. No, Louis was just only there for like an hour. That was it. Well, it's great because that DJ was set up like halfway down the block from Ronnie's house. So when he's screaming for all those girls to come up, you know, he's like, on the mic yelling and halfway yelling down, the block, down to, the block back to his house. Like, Tracy, get up here. You know. Get no, I'll give you your Louis DeVito CD. What do you have to do? I, I shook my ass over there because I, I danced and I got a free Louis DeVito CD. See how excited awesome. they were? And was Ronnie encouraging you? Ronnie was totally encouraging me. It was, it was very good. Good times. Although if I wasn't drunk, I definitely wouldn't have done it. That's one of our interns. That's yeah, is that Meredith? No, Dara. Dara. All right, good man. Sounds like a lot of fun. Everybody had a good time, but nobody will come in and say they had a good time. They only knock it. That's it. Tim, you're, Tim, you're on the air in Canton, yeah. Ohio. Hey now. Hey now. Hey, you know, I was just going to say that every year Ronnie's parties seem to sound boringer and boringer, but when he brought the coke in, then that kind of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that lit the party up. Huh? Lifted it a little bit. For you. That helps every part. Actually, good move. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't bring coke <laughs> in, pal. <laughs> Funerals are sounding more exciting than this. Party. Good, so go to a funeral. Nobody asks you. That the party is mostly Ronnie drinking and then yelling into a microphone. Dude, I wasn't drunk. Okay, <laughs> or I was yelling. fine. You yell a lot. <laughs> Last year I was wasted. This year I was fine. All right. It was a good time. Ronnie got in a big fight with his son at the end of the night, though. Everyone saw you guys screaming in your driveway. I don't know what you were fighting about, though. Hey, Ronnie. We were. Yeah, you screamed. That's what. That's what. Pe- that's what people were telling me. You, you two were going rem- at each other. I don't other. remember that, dude. No. Yeah. Dominic, go ahead. You're on the air. Isn't most of his neighbors Catholic or Protestant? What's that got to do with it? Well, some of these people may not want their kids to see this. See what, dude? Nobody was naked. But the Jew neighbors don't care? <laughs> dude, what, what oh, no, the... but I'm serious. They're, they're what is wrong? With, what's his problem now? No, no, I don't have a problem. No, you do, but... obviously, man. <laughs> but aren't there children around this? Yeah, aren't there I, Catholic dude, children? I, dude, yeah. nobody was it's naked. Catholic. 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 Aren't, aren't, they, talking of... aren't there Protestant well, children? Well, uh, high pitch Mike says... What is it, high pitch? Uh, hey, I just wanted to... Everybody's crazy! Well, let me hear high pitch Mike's point of view, yes. Mike, you were there. Just turn the tape, I'm hearing it. Sounds like the only one doing coke was Ronnie. Really? <laughs> what? But, um, no, I wanted to clarify. He did ask that girl to take her top off, but I walked up right as he was saying it to her, and it looked like Aaron... Uh, he didn't know whether to laugh or punch Ronnie. Oh, please, Mike. You know you're an asswipe also he, now. He, he never so yeah, they let you out of the fucking house now, and now you're going to you starting bullshit? No, I'm try, I'm try Don't start do lying you. now. You never said show us your tits, so I was trying to clarify. I didn't say tits. I know that. I'm trying to say that for you. Yeah, but you're, yeah, yeah, but you're also knocking the shit out of my party now. Oh, come on. Like nobody... You're a douchebag, Mike. Go back to your fucking go back into your house and NASCAR. watch your box with your, with your fucking TV in it you never took out. That NASCAR room. <laughs> that you got your, that you suck some Dominic, fucking see, transvestite's cock, cunt, good whatever Christians for. Don't want you their, asshole. <laughs> good Christians don't want people asking people to take their tops off. Well, I'm wondering if... if uh, it's not fucking Christians, Mike. Obviously, but anyone with kids, did anyone ever take their top off? No! So who's dancing around in in in, in the thong? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> they were trying to Nobody, get Nobody, man. <laughs> Nobody was dancing in a thong. And we we were joking around, Dominic. Now you sound like Howard. What the fuck is wrong with you? Hey Mike, I heard you were really excited about the cotton candy at the party. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was he, he was eating cotton candy. He, he was so happy now he Douchebag. Were you by yourself? Right. Well, Bye. thank you. <laughs> right. Yo. Successful party this year. I think so. I think it was great. Everybody had a great time, but nobody fucking comes in. Exactly. Nobody fucking came in. They're all saying, oh, don't worry, Monday morning, if he starts breaking your balls, we're all going to come in and say what a great time we had. Everybody fucking who caught, either called in or talked about it threw me under the fucking bus. Exactly. And that seems to happen every year. Yeah, I know. You know what? I don't care anymore. I had a good time. I know everybody had a good time. They want to be assholes, that's fine with me. It okay. seems as though Howard can't grasp having a good time and, and what your block party is all about. I know that. I understand that. But hey, you know what? There's another guy, Brian Fallon. There's a perfect example. He said, don't worry, Monday morning, if anything goes down, I'll come in, I'll tell you what a great time I had. Yeah. He, he didn't what? come in. He fucking sat there by his camera playing with himself. What? Oh, I had a great time in your party, Yeah, thanks, way. bitch. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice guy. Thanks for looking me over with that blow, though. <laughs> so, will you ever scale back your performances nope. or your, you know, nope. your drinking at these nope. parties because no, of No, I wasn't drunk, dude. 
Right, but I Howard says you're up I, there, you're yelling and yeah, you're carrying on. It's a party. Have fun. Why will he never see that angle of it? Because I guess maybe he doesn't know to have real fun like we do. And just let himself go. You know? Like the other night. You had fun. I had a great time. You were yelling. You were laughing. I think there's something wrong with that, obviously. <laughs> you know? Hey. Not in my block, it's not. Right, you had a good you know, time. We had a good time. All right, man. All right? We missed you, but who gives a shit? We're glad you weren't there. Oh, uh, you don't mean that. Nah, man, you weren't there, you know? Next year. Yeah. I won't schedule my... Maybe, maybe I won't invite you next year. Well, I can, only, I can only hope that you will. All right. Thanks, Later. man. Thanks, man. Later. Later, man. Back to the hall. Hands up, man. Hands up. Hands up, yeah. Richard shot the funniest video. They were, I don't know where they were. I think they were in Kansas or something doing shows. You know, him in the hack pack. <laughs> and uh, who I don't know who, who goes and does these shows. I guess it's Levy, Richard, Sal. They bring Beetlejuice. Yeah, Beetlejuice is all, always in tow for some reason. And Richard just follows Beetlejuice around the whole weekend with a camera and doesn't interfere with Beetlejuice's life. And right. They're in the hotel. He sends this to me over the weekend. I'm watching it. <laughs> they're in the hotel. Beetlejuice is in the hallway. He wants to get back into his room, except he's on the wrong floor. He has one of those, you know, the key, there's no more keys. There's those cards. <laughs> he's swiping the card thing, but he, he's got the magnetic strip on backwards. Right. So he, he's like swiping it to the room. Yeah. But even if it was the right room, he couldn't get in because he's, he's not putting the metal strip through. How does he function? <laughs> then he's banging on the door yelling that Bob Levy ought to let him in the room. Meanwhile, he's completely on the wrong floor. Oh, no. It was like one in the morning. Too. But it's fun. I, you have to really see the video, and I think we're going to put it up on Howard TV. But uh, you got to hear, like, just to hear, it's just funny to hear Beetle just freaking out and Richard <laughs> laughing at him and not helping. He's like a documentarian. He's not going to get involved. Yeah, it was Aren't like you... watching a wild animal. <laughs> I didn't interfere. But don't you get nervous that he's knocking on some stranger's doors? No, I figured he would do it if I wasn't there. I just want to leave him to live his life and I won't bother him. <laughs> What Does he the, notice a man with a camera behind him? <laughs> it doesn't bother him, I guess. Yeah. And what we, when he's swiping the thing, you know, he's retarded. But, but uh -huh. so when you when he's swiping the thing and he's not using the metal strip, do you, you want to tell him, look, dude, you got to put... No, because I knew it wouldn't help because it was the wrong room anyway. <laughs> and finally, like, you know, after a while, because they called... Did the people called, open the door? No, they called security. So oh. we finally, we finally, you could hear him in there freaking out, like wondering what to do. <laughs> do you think they looked through the keyhole? Yeah. Yeah, I imagine them the imagine horror the of hole, looking through the keyhole. And you see Beetlejuice? He's like, How can you see Beetlejuice through the keyhole? He doesn't come up that Well, high. when he steps but you know what's back, funny? I guess. The, guy, the guy's probably saying to his wife, you know how like when you look through the keyhole, it's distorted, the image? <laughs> Uh, the, the image is so distorted, it makes this guy look like he's got a funny-shaped head. you got to come look at this. It shrinks him. <laughs> or maybe Beetle Beetlejuice doesn't... looks normal in that. Beetlejuice doesn't come up to the keyhole. He sees nothing. And now he has, like, no teeth, so it's even scarier. Maybe with the distorted thing, he looks like Denzel Washington. Yeah. <laughs> but he's, and, and, and Richard's just staring there laughing. Oh, motherfucker. What happened? And you took my room, yeah? Go, go, go check. Oh, this how you do it. You me out of my own room? Come on, dude. Don't fuck around. Nobody gonna get me out of my room. Nobody does. I don't know who the fuck you think you are. <laughs> He's yelling at some guy in a room, a guy and his wife. I don't know who the fuck you think right. you are. Yeah, he thinks it's Bob, Bob Levy. He thinks, right? he thinks Bob Levy's in his room messing with him, yeah. Clearly you're not at a Rich Carlton either. <laughs> no. Nobody's going to take me out of my room, dude. I'm serious. Don't stop me getting fucking pissed off. Don't fuck me out of my room. Who the fuck are this guy that did? Open this fucking door, dude. I know you trying to, you know, I don't know who the fuck you are trying to take me out of my room. I don't know who the fuck you think you are. <laughs> my room is right here, dude. Right next to Bob Levy. My room is right here. No time to say, I know, I know you were in there. You fucking with me? I'm dead serious, dude. I know you were in there. Don't try to fucking try to bullshit me. And they didn't call, they didn't call security yeah, for a they, while. And they didn't open the door either. They were that afraid. No, you could hear Richard him talking. Heard, Richard heard him talking to them. That's huddled up in the room. Like, what do we do? Like, you could literally 
There's uh, a little black midget outside. <laughs> like right on the, An angry black midget and, and right kicking a, in our door. Right, right on the other side hotel. of the door, you could hear him. When security comes, are they mad at you? Because they know you could have stopped it. Or did it. you guys no, run? We, no, we, we took off. No, uh, they kind of you present understood. yourself as the uh, famous documentarian Richard Christie? <laughs> 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 you gotta I mean, wonder, how does Beetle ever find his room? Like, what does the security guy say to you? I just said, oh, there's a misunderstanding. He's on the wrong floor. And, and they were like, oh, okay, oh, we yeah. know now. We just terrorized. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and even when he got to his real room, his card was still backwards. <laughs> and finally, I helped him, and he got into his Excuse room. Me, oh. operator, there's a man with a, with a head the size of an olive outside yeah. my door attacking me. See, but uh, you're not being true to your art. Like, what he Adam, he would have not been able to get in, so you would have, you had, had to stay to with him. on the, on the floor right. in front of his well, room. No, well, he, he kept threatening to get on a bus and yeah, leave. He oh. wanted to leave, so, so, let so it finally happen. I let, let it happen. That would be a real documentary. Get on the bus with him. <laughs> I know Bob Levy is in there. I know he's in there. I'm not fucking stupid. I hear voices. Yeah, I heard you in there telling Bob Levy to kick me out. I heard you. I know you were in there. I'm trying to get me out of the room. Oh, now you're in my room trying to kick me out? <laughs> oh, that's the way it is? Here, B, you were doing it the wrong way. No, the car. That's the way you want to do it? You trying to kick me out? Oh, that's how Bob Levy is? Shit. Here, that's want, how he is? You want to go to the front desk? No, I'm going to fucking leave right now. I'm leaving right now. He got have the fucking keys back. I'm leaving. You had the key the wrong way, though. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Try the, let me, I'm gone. Let me I'm see gone. your I'm key. Leaving. I'm taking the fucking bus home. Let me try the key. I'm, dro- I'm, dro- I'm taking the bus home. <laughs> 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 Where were you? Uh, wound Socket, Rhode Island. Oh, oh so goodness. the bus could have taken Then they go down to the pool and they put Beetlejuice in the pool, you know, with a big, ba- with a big American flag bathing suit. I went to Target with him to buy his and bathing he, suit. That was a, an experience. He's got a big beach ball and he's jumping in that pool. The horrified look on the oh. people's faces. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd he go? His body is so, it gets funnier and funnier looking because his gut is so I huge he's now. He's heavy now. Yeah. Yeah. Do He's you, let himself go. Do you, do you put floaties on him? He can't swim. We gave him a beach ball to hold on to. Yeah, he jumps in the pool with a beach ball, but he doesn't oh. let go of it. And the and the water's four foot deep, and he still can't touch. <laughs> <laughs> and Yucca said it looked like a black lab swimming around in the oh, pool. No. <laughs> oh my goodness. Go for it. Belly buster. Six months, you know, I see under a black knife. Oh, wow. Oh, you think you could do that? And I just wanted to... You could do a cannonball? So Yucko's with you, too? Yeah. My God. Who was there? You, Levy, Yucko? I'm um, Shuli. Yeah, I saw Shuli yeah. in the pool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Looks like a concentration camp victim <laughs> going his way, my way to a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, it looks like those Jewish guys that they liberated from the concentration. Yeah. He looks like he was just found. <laughs> yeah, like, oh my God, thank you, officers. I was one day away from being shoved in the oven. Shuli's list. Shuli's list. <laughs> Yeah, surely looks like he's being bulldozed into a mass yeah. grave. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> no one gives a shit. <laughs> this one's alive over here. Good. This, this Jew's alive. Betty's a Jew. Shalom, don't bury me. <laughs> All right, Richard, thank you. Thank you. All right, I got to take a break. We'll be back right after these words. Richard. Yeah. Could you imagine being his handler every weekend or absolutely not? I would love it, actually. I, I I would not mind adopting Beetle. He's like a fun toy to have around, you know? Like a puppy, almost? Yeah, like a puppy. Like a puppy that can talk to you, which is cool. Like, everybody always dreams that one day their dog will just start talking to them. Well, 
Beetle's kind of like a pet that talks to you, which is cool. But on a typical weekend, Bob Levy is usually his handler, right? Yeah, Bob takes care of him a lot. But, you know, like if Beetle wants to go out to the pool or do something, I'll, 